Hi, this is Susie Wilson with Gulf Coast WebNet. Today I'm going to show you how to manage your e-commerce store using WooCommerce on this new installation for uh, Dawn's Posts. If you have um, admin rights and you are a manager on your website, then you will have a link in the footer of your website that says admin login. Just click on that. It will take you to the login screen. Answer the question. And here we are. We're right in our store and we can see our orders. This is a test order in this system and uh, there should be lots of orders for you <laughs> but there are different actions you can take for these orders. Um, you can view an order, you can mark it as complete, or you can mark it as processing. If you're shipping orders, a lot of times uh, customers want to know when you are um, packaging their product and when you're getting it ready for shipping and then you can use this to mark that it's being processed and once you have shipped the item you can mark it as complete and they will get an email telling them that they're, it's complete. These actions are changeable on the back end. We can send an email or not depending on your requirements. So just let your designer know which you would like um, and you'll go from there. So here I can view an item. So I'm going to look at this one. So here is here are the shipping, the information about the, the order. It's currently in uh, pending status. It could be processing, on hold, completed, canceled, refunded, or failed. And your payment system should naturally indicate that for you. Here are the billing details, the shipping details, the person's email, their phone number. Uh, here are all the, here is all the information about the product. Now this particular product is an installation service. So it's, there's no product to be shipped and we have it attached to specialized forms so we're capturing additional information about the product or the service. For example, here we're asking whether the listing is, the real estate listing is a vacant lot or not, what color of sign you would like, what the parcel number is or map coordinates, um, whether there's a, it's in a gated community and the gate code. It also tells us how many signs they want for the property um, this is a hidden total from the customer, but we see it on the back end. The date it was submitted and the IP address of the person who requested the information, or the installation rather. So from here, I can do things like um, if there's something that I need to change on the order, I can click this little pencil icon and it will come up and let me change something on the order. Maybe someone called and said, oh, that gate key was wrong, so they give me a new gate key, and I can, I can change that here. Then we go down to the bottom and click Save or Cancel. Um, you can also, let's go back and do that one more time. So we can show you this additional item down here. We can also add a fee. So sometimes there is an additional fee for some reason um, and we need, to, we need to add an additional fee. Um, in this case, this client, if they can't get into the gate for some reason and they have to come back, they, they want to charge a fee for doing that. So, this might be a place where you could put that information. Um, and we're going to cancel this right now because we don't want to take that action. Um, and let's see, what else is on here? You can also change your actions from here to 
any one of the items you see there. We can add a note to the customer um, and or we can make a private note to ourselves um, that won't go to the customer. Let's see what else then when we go back um, oh here we can also look at other orders that the customer has made so I can click on this and it will bring me back to the orders screen where I was before but you'll notice that it has put in a filter up here so there's only one person one order out there but um, if you had many orders you could filter it that way or we'll remove this filter right now or you can type in your own filter here and um, it will give you um, options there um, so uh, there are other things we can look at there are reports lots of different reports of course we haven't made any sales on this website but by year you can see orders by year last month this month seven days custom dates uh, we're looking at sales by date but we could look, look at sales by product um, and we could look at sales by category sales by date um, we can also look at customers um, with all those different date differentials we can look at a customer list and see all of our customers uh, if you manage stock you can look at the different stock that you have what's out of stock what's most stocked you can look at uh, taxes uh, by code or by date um, all these reports are very handy you can also export it by um, into a CSV format that any Excel or uh, spreadsheet can read uh, so these are just some of the things that you can do in you your WooCommerce store um, some of the other things that you can do we don't recommend but in settings this is where we set all of the things about your store um, to make it run efficiently but there are some things um, that you might want to do we oftentimes and we will do this for you if you send in a request um, but you can enable a store-wide notice um, and change it here for example if you're on vacation you can do that um, you can also let's see what else uh, oops, let's stay on, we'll, we'll leave the page we don't want to save that information um, here is where we change uh, what the units of measure um, how we calculate inventory what what is low and what isn't um, what your tax preferences are information about your checkout whether you can use coupons uh, whether we want to enable uh, allow a guest to check out in this case we do not um, whether we want if we have an SSL certificate on our website we might want to force a secure checkout although if you're using PayPal you're there's really no requirement to have an SSL but sometimes it makes people feel a little more comfortable um, lots of different things um, system status um, is something that we will use if you're having a problem with your store no need to go into this at all and then there are additional products that we can purchase for you from the WooCommerce store that add a lot of functionality to your website so if you want any of these um, please let us know and we'll set it up for you if when you go to your dashboard a dashboard is kind of a very handy thing to do um, the dashboard will show you lots of different things we have some custom things already set up for you but you can reorder these by clicking and dragging on them so maybe in your dashboard you want to see your status of your WooCommerce store first and maybe you 
we've enabled reviews on your products and you want to see what reviews are there so you can move things around however it best suits you Oops, that didn't quite make it over there did it um, so that is pretty much users uh, you should have access to see all the users those would include customers they have different role categories here um, you can edit your profile here uh, there are lots of different admin color schemes so you can change the way your dashboard looks whatever strikes your fancy you can change your first and last name give yourself a nickname um, and then tell the system the system will let you pick from your nickname and your first name combination if you want to have any bio information this is where you would change your password um, and of course you can add an avatar so you can look pretty on the back end of your website uh, the rest of this is pretty much you really don't need um, so I would just disregard the rest of that and if you are on a mobile application you can do the same thing and uh, so I would encourage you to, to do that when you log in with uh, on your smartphone you this menu will automatically be collapsed like this so you can just hover on your WooCommerce and go to your orders there. In fact, when you log in to admin, it should send you right to this page. So I hope we've um, hope we've told you everything you need to know. When you're done, you can log out by going over here and logging out, or you can go over here to where it says your name, your website name, and and visit your website. So if you have any more questions or need uh, any additional support, just contact us at support at gulfcoastwebnet.com. Thank you.